Chapter 66 Desirability of Visiting Graves for Men and What They Should Say 581 Buranda, Raziullah Anhu reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, In the past, I forbade you from visiting graves, but visit them now. In another narration, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whoever wants to visit a graveyard, let him do so, because it reminds us of the hereafter. Commentary The visit to the graves is not only recommendable from a theological point of view, but in the light of the prophetic saying, it is also compulsory and binding. However, at the dawn of Islam it was forbidden due to the apprehension that the Muslims might relapse into some wrongdoing by harking back to the pre-Islamic memory. But when the monotheistic belief took root in their minds and the apprehension of pagan echoings evaporated, the ban on visiting the graves was lifted. Rather, an emphasis was laid on such a visit, so that an overpowering thought of death might penetrate a believer's mind as a deterrent force against the promptings of his animal self. The believers must remember death and remember that they will be dead sooner or later. It has been reported that Umar bin al-Khattab anhu, used to address himself thus, Death suffices to serve as an admonitor, O Umar. 582 Aisha Raziullah Anha reported, Whenever it was her turn to spend time with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, he used to go to the Baqi graveyard in al Madina in the last part of the night and say, May you be safe, O abode of the believing people. What you have been promised has come to you. You are tarried till tomorrow, and certainly we shall follow you if Allah wills. O Allah, forgive the inmates of the Baqi al gharqad Muslim. Commentary The example of the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him shows that it is right to visit the graves even at night, but the visitor is required to pray the prophetic prayer there as it invokes divine blessing on and pardon to the dead. It may be emphasized here that to greet the dead is a prayer for them. It is not necessary that they should hear it and also respond to it. Allah has the power to make them hear it too. But ours should not be the belief that the dead do hear and reply. The exact position is known to Allah alone. We are only supposed to follow the example of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and say the greeting and prayer as mentioned above. 583. Burada Raziullah Anhu reported, The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to teach them, i.e. the companions, whenever they came out to visit the graveyard to say, Assalamu alaikum, ahl al-dariya min al-mu'minina wal-muslimina wa inna insha Allahu bikum lahikmoon. As'alahu lana wa lakumul afiyah. May you be safe, O inmates of the abodes of the believers and the Muslims, and if Allah pleases, we shall follow you. We pray to Allah for well-being for ourselves and for you. Muslim Commentary This hadith has a provision for a believer to visit the graveyard and to pray for his dead relatives because the prayer of the living benefits the departed souls. 584 Ibn Abbas Raziullah Anhuma reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, passed by the graves at al Madina. He turned his face towards them and said, May you be granted safety, O inmates of the graves. May Allah forgive us and you. You have preceded us and we are to follow. At-Tirmidhi Commentary Imam At-Tirmidhi considers it as a credible hadith and Imam An-Nawawi has also reduced it to writing without ifs and buts. However, Sheikh Al-Albani calls it undependable from the viewpoint of the chain of reporters. For a detailed study, one may refer to Akam al-Janais ba al-Albani, page 197.